what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what you know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, I'll let your boy when we get home. What's that idiot? It was just a guy that was on like, go unsubscribe to him. Um, I know he just had on a hat. Blue boxing, blue boxing, blue. B&B, something. Blood, blue blood boxing or something. Unsubscribe to him, he don't know shit. Nigga stupid, don't know shit. Tell him, fuck him. Tell him if y'all see him, I'll smack him in the mouth. Whatever he want. I, I, I said, whatever. I said, nigga sucks. Unsubscribe to him, he's trash. But anyway, so it's fine. All right, man, we back. Goodfella Sports TV just got done watching the Jose Ramirez and Victor Postal fight. Um, get my analysis on it. May not be what you want to hear, but it is what it is. And uh, I watched the Lara fight. I'm not going to talk about that terrible card to begin with, at least not tonight, but I do appreciate the love support. Um, keep sharing the videos. Don't forget to check out our fight reaction playlist. And I had to fight 115, 113 for Victor Postal. I knew he wasn't going to get a decision. And it's probably why Al Heyman don't uh, let his, his people cross the street. So often, uh, Victor Postal is a Heyman fighter at this point. He's, I think he was represented this fight by TGB Promotions. But getting to the fight, the first round, I mean, it could have went either way. I thought Ramirez did enough to steal it. But, like, the next four or five rounds, I gave it to Victor Postal. And I turned off the sound completely, almost completely. I was talking to Lion Killer. Go check his channel on Lion Killer. Um, just put Lion Killer Boxing in it come up. And I... Uh, and, and we started talking. And when Andre Ward, you know, was saying like, oh, I got this fight. He had all these rounds for Ramirez. Look here about Ramirez in this fight. Ramirez, he landed a handful of flush punches. A lot of those punches where they were showing seven different angles of him landing them punches, he was missing this dude or grazing him. That wasn't even clean and effective shots that he was landing, bro. He was landing the, the, the show fights because he was landing the punches catching a post to balance. Because Postal was doing a lot of moving. Postal did all that movement and Ramirez only cut the ring off when he got desperate and he started winking shots like a girl in the ring. You know what I'm saying? His footwork is trash. His punch output is wide. He don't know how to cut the ring off versus somebody with feet. He don't move his head. He's a he's trash. You know what I'm saying? This fight, like, Ramirez, and you listen to you listen to it with the sound and, 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 and the commentators to sway your opinion. And, and, and the angles they showing, Ramirez did not land too many, a handful of meaningful punches. Victor Postal was landing the one, the two, the one, the two, the two, the one. And he was landing some good body work as well. He was matching a, a, a Ramirez body work early on. He was outboxing him. Just because you come forward and it looked like you landed some effective punches, he wasn't landing no effective punches. Had he landed effective punches, he should have got Victor Postal the fuck up out of there. And what surprised him was that, you know, when 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 Ramirez down the stretch started putting three or four rounds together on my card, then Victor Postal was able to get his second win and I'll box him. Victor Postal boxed him. He danced around him. He picked this guy apart for the majority of the fight. He picked him apart. It's, it's no other way to articulate the fight. Ramirez was throwing shots off balance. This motherfucker did a 180 on the ropes and got caught. Like I said before, this dude ain't good. A lot of people are not going to like my opinion. I've been telling y'all, man, this dude, is, Robert Garcia is working miracles with him. Like I said before, he struggled with a 36-year-old Victor Postal. No, he did not do better than Josh Taylor in this fight. Y'all letting the commentators sway y'all. Go back and watch that fight without the sign. Victor Postal was giving him a boxing lesson. He didn't cut the ring off. And when he did, it was desperation shots. And when he got Postal in the corner, he wasn't even hitting Postal with no really good shots. Had he hit Postal with multiple shots, he should have been able to get him out of there with his youth, his size, and his strength. And Postal just gave him a boxing lesson. You think he about to put him in there with Taylor? He gonna get fucking stopped. Taylor should stop him. You think he gonna put him in there with Bud? Man, come on. He struggled with this dude with a stiff upper body movement. Imagine you put him in there with somebody that's slick. Ramirez is not that good, but I'm gonna try to give y'all an accurate depiction of what I saw. First round, Victor Postal was controlling the round, first half of the round. Second, second, I think Ramirez came on strong. It could have went either way. It was a swing round. For the next three or four rounds of my card, I think four rounds of my card, Victor Postal was giving him a boxing lesson. He was stabbing and grooving and on, on Ramirez. He was putting the one on him, dogging him with the one, putting the two on him. You know what I'm saying? He was landing some really good punches. He was working up, up, up upstairs and downstairs. He was putting the right hand to the body. He was moving him. Ramirez had problems timing his movement. Yes, Ramirez was landing his best punch. He was landing all day. 
was a really strong jab when he popped Victor Postal head back. But Postal was religiously popping his head back, landing ones and twos. He landed the more cleaner, effective punching. His style was the more cleaner and effective style. His style won versus Ramirez. Y'all can't just be scoring a fight for the aggressor when it's not effective aggression. It's not effective aggression because he's not landing clean and effective shots. And his aggression is like the bull versus the matador. The matador won tonight. Ramirez don't know how to cut the ring off. I mean, come, it's, it's, it was a joke. Anybody that know boxing, this fight was a fucking joke. You know what I'm saying? But you can continue, we can continue on, right? Then after those four rounds, he had really good. I felt Ramirez put three or four more rounds in the bank. He started to come on. He started to catch uh, 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 Victor Postal with some good shots. But then again, he couldn't put Vo Postal away. Postal still was doing some good work. Still pivoting, still jabbing, still grooving, still punching. The whole nine, he still was surviving. He st I'm not even surviving. He still was a threat to Jose Ramirez through those rounds. Then, you know, Ramirez was landing some good shots. It seemed like he was starting to come on. He was starting to pose his style. He was starting to close the distance a little bit more. But then again, his style never Im fully imposed itself. Had his style imposed itself where he cut the ring off on, uh, where he had cut the ring off on, um, on Victor Postal, he would have, he should have stopped that guy. His body work didn't really, didn't really go as far as I thought it was going to go in the second half of the fight. But he touched him. But then again, Postal was still on his bike, still showing angles. He never stopped Postal from being on his bike. He had him in the corner a couple of times, landing some shots. He allowed Postal to spin him out. And then, you know, we talk about where we had about the eighth, ninth round. Then I fell in the championship rounds. Postal held his own. I, I had Postal win in the 11th. No, I think I had him win in the 12th. In the 10th, I think it was. And Ramirez landed some good shots. But at the end of the day, when you when you take in the court, and, and when you take in the fact or you equate the fact that this was a dude that's 36 years old, man, that was off for 16 months to 13 months. You couldn't cut the ring off on him. You couldn't close the distance off on him. You couldn't put more than three punches together off on him. This dude landed his jab. He controlled the ring generalship with his foot movement. He landed the cleaner and effective punches. He kind of matched what you did to the body. You know what I'm saying? People say, well, look at Victor Postal's face. Postal got more scar tissue. Postal, 36 years old. Ramirez, 28 years old. That's going to happen. You can't dictate how a dude winning just because how his face look. Postal been through them wars, a lot of spars, a lot of tough fights. Like I said before, Victor Postal, I mean, uh, Ramirez ain't even a top three fighter that, that Victor Postal didn't face. Lucas Matisse was better than him at the time. Crawford was better than him. And Josh Taylor, damn show, 10,000 times better than him right now. You know what I'm saying? And this dude's footwork is not that good. You know what I'm saying? He just, like I said before, it was comical that this dude won this fight. Have, have Victor Postal been younger? Like, it's, like I said before, they starting to score for they starting to score for the aggressor more than they starting to score for the boxer. Sorry to restart. Had to get them damn dogs. But like I said before, you know, Ramirez, basic. You know what I'm saying? He just getting by on his stamina, his strength, his speed. And it showed today how limited he was. He couldn't cut the ring off. He didn't land the more effective shots. Did he have more power? Yeah, he's a stronger fighter than a younger fighter. Most definitely, he the stronger. He supposed to be a fresher fighter. But the shots, go back and watch that fight. And when you start watching, Victor Postal caught a lot of them shots. He rolled a lot of them shots. And he, and he really avoided a lot of them shots. He avoided a lot of that punishment, and I think Ramirez's most underutilized weapon tonight was his jab. You know what I'm saying? Jab and weaving to get in, and, and he fainted some. He just wasn't unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? And Postal won that fight to me. You know what I'm saying? His stop, his ring generalship dictated the whole fight. He never closed distance consistently on him. Never cut the ring off consistently on him. Didn't land the more effective punches. Ramirez, I mean Postal, dance. He. Danced all night. He landed the clean, effective punches all night. Even landed some really good body shots. His style was more clean and effective. And a lot of people are gonna say, well, um, a lot of people are gonna say, well, you know, uh, you know, Victor Postal, you know, he moved, he ran all night. At the end of the day, it's boxing, man. Go watch some of the Muhammad Ali fights. Muhammad Ali is one of the hardest to watch fighters of all time. You know what I'm saying? They they glorify a lot of his, you know, his big wins, you know, but one, you know. A lot of his fights, especially with Joe Frazier, was a clinch fest. 
And I don't think Victor Post will clinch as much as he really could in this fight, man. But a lot of people going to sit there and they're going to believe what they believe. They're going to believe what Andre Ward was saying. Andre Ward was being a company man tonight. Victor Postal, you would think a guy that made a living off of hitting don't get hit and boxing and moving would appreciate that. But we know we're dealing with, man, and I felt that, you know, I felt Ramirez Postal won. I just think Ramirez is not good. People talking about he beating him up, this, that, and the third. Like, to beat somebody up, you got to cut that ring off and make him pay. And he can never cut the ring off and truly make him pay. A lot of those shots, shot, you can just watch the instant replays they show. This dude, Ramirez, couldn't even hit a stiff, upright postal clean two times in a row. A lot of times he's swinging and, and postal rolling and postal slipping and postal, you know, catching them shots, man. Like I said, man, I knew they was going to rob this nigga tonight, man. I just knew it, man. But I just feel that postal style was better tonight. He landed more accurate shots. But we knew they wasn't going to mess up undisputed. Postal had to go in there and go for a knockout. If anything, he could have did different was he could have pushed Ramirez back and been more aggressive. But that's not his temperament. You know what I'm saying? But like I said before, if y'all want to crown Ramirez, crown him. He one of the most overrated fighters in boxing. I say when footwork trash, cutting the ring off trash. You know what I'm saying? Punches too wide. Like I said before, he fights somebody like Josh Taylor. It, it should be it should be power. It's the, the power should be turned out. Anything less than the knockout for Josh Taylor is unacceptable, man, versus Jose Ramirez because he not in on that fucking level. And you want to know why he duck fucking reaches progress? Then you've seen why tonight. But it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Also got a Facebook group if you ever got to reach out. If you got business question, quiet response, your video request, YouTube question, or you want to chop it up, all my social media links in the description. Want to make a donation to the channel? Cash app CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description. Appreciate the love support. One time for the one time. Good fellow sports TV. Let me know what you think in the comment section. We go.